Automate 365 by Nonsorts. Hello there! The purpose of this video is for you to become aware of several things that need to be set up if you plan on using our pre designed insurance specific forms. That is to say that although everything is ready to go right out of the box, it does need to be configured specifically for your agency first. So please, if you would like to use our forms, follow the instructions in this video or contact us for assistance. Let me start with the very basics now. After logging into Automate 365, please go to Sites in the left-hand side navigation menu and then click on one of the tabs on top, Forms or Surveys. You see, in Automate 365, we have both Forms and Surveys. They are basically the same, with the most notable difference being that Surveys allow for the use of logic. This means that your prospects or customers do not have to go through all of the questions you included if there is no need for it. For example, you can say that if they answer with a yes to a specific question, they should proceed to the questions on the next page. But if they answer with a no, they are to skip this page because it would not be applicable. Anyway, we have used both our form builder and survey builder to create some sample intake forms. You can use them as they are or as a starting point to create your own. You are of course free to change them in the way you want to. You can even use custom CSS. If you would like to, you can add your form to a website page in our Builders for Websites and Funnels. The form will still function as intended and you will have more options to customize it. However, please keep in mind that if you want to change any of the questions in the forms, change them in the form itself by clicking on them and then editing the title or placeholder. Thank you. Going back to the issue at hand, here is the most important part in this video. If you want the information from these forms not only to exist in Automate 365, but to also transfer over to NowCerts, there are a few things that need to be set up. First, some hidden fields need to be included in the form where you enter the ID of your agency's account in NowCerts and the name of the form. Second, the form's fields need to be mapped in accordance with the already existing fields in NowCerts. Let me elaborate on these steps further. First, as I said before, you should go to Sites from the left-hand side navigation menu. And then either Forms or Surveys, depending on what you are looking for. Please choose one of our pre-designed intake forms or create a brand new one. For the purpose of this video, I choose to click on Personal Auto in the Survey Builder. In any case, regardless of your choice, if you want to get the information sent over to NowCerts under Quote Applications, you need to make sure that two specific fields have been added. These fields are called Agency ID and Form Name. 
after finding them at the very bottom of one of our pre-designed forms or adding them to a new form by clicking on custom fields on the right hand side and then searching by name and just dragging them when you find them. So after you do this, please click on agency ID first, then on form name, look to the right hand side and make sure that the box to make the field hidden has been checked. Do the same with the second field. This is very important because these fields are not meant to be filled in by your prospect or customer. They are only meant to carry specific information that you enter as a hidden value. Now for the agency ID field, you need to enter your agency ID from NowCerts. To find it, please log in to NowCerts and then go to your agency's profile by clicking on your name in the upper right corner of the page, which will prompt this drop down menu to appear and select agency profile. You will see your agency ID in the URL of this page after the ID equals, please click the string of characters that comes right after the equal sign. And then after you have copied it, please go back to your form in Automate 365. Make sure to click on it. Erase anything that may appear in the hidden value box. And then paste the ID that you just copied. Now click outside of the form just in the blank space and you will see the blue button save survey. Please make sure to click on it. Then please click on the second hidden field form name to make sure that the name of the form is entered in the hidden value or to enter it yourself if you're creating a new form. If you have made any changes you will see the button below integrate survey becoming blue again. So now the survey is saved if the button is not blue. This is very important because the agency ID needs to be in the hidden value section together with the webhook in our workflow that we will create in just a few moments. It helps the system to send over the information to quote applications in NowCerts to your agency's account. Next, as I mentioned, we create a workflow. To do this, please go to Automation in the left-hand side navigation menu. It is just above Sites. Click on it and find the relevant workflow if you have chosen one of our pre-designed intake forms you can just search by putting in the name in the search bar up here here it is personal auto quote request if i want to open the workflow in a new tab i can just click on actions open in a new tab okay now for those who have created their own form, you will have to create a new workflow by clicking on the create workflow button in the upper right corner. Then select start from scratch and click on the button create new workflow again. 
as a workflow trigger, we choose either form submitted or survey submitted, depending on which builder we used to create our form. Then we will add a filter and select which survey or form it is and click on Save Trigger. Afterward, we select the sequence of actions that we want to see happen upon submission of the form. To add actions, click on the plus in the circle and then search the action that you are looking to add to the workflow. For example, for this specific workflow, our first actions could be to add or update the pipeline opportunity. Or as a first step, we might want to send messages to our customers via email or SMS. You could add whatever sequence of actions you would like to happen. However, there is one action that you must not skip in this workflow if you want to send the information from the form to quote applications in NowCerts. This is the action called webhook. Please enter the name, find it, click on it, and then enter the following URL here. You can copy the URL from this video's description or one of our pre-designed workflows for quote submissions, such as the personal auto quote request workflow that I opened in a new tab a few moments ago. Here it is. If you go to it and scroll down, you will see the action webhook. And here is the URL. Please note that this webhook, together with the agency ID, is what allows us to send the information from our form to NowCerts. I know that I am repeating myself, but this is very important for the process to work. Lastly, now that we are done with the form and the workflow, we can test the form. But first, let's not forget that we need to save the workflow. This is also very important. When you edit any of the actions in the workflow or when you're creating a new workflow, you always need to click on Save Action for each action and then Save in the upper right corner for the whole workflow. You also need to make sure that the workflow is published and not in draft mode by toggling this button in the upper right corner below the save button and then save again after you publish it. If it is not published, it will not function. Okay, so now we can proceed to testing the form. The purpose is to see if we are happy with it so that we don't have to go back and edit it after we have mapped the fields in NowCerts because then we would have to remap them. I will explain more about this later. Now let's exit the workflows and go back to our form by going to sites in the left hand side navigation menu surveys because the form i chose is in this builder personal auto and then click on the green button integrate survey then click on link and if you click on the square with a with an arrow inside you can quickly go to the link okay so now we must fill it in and make sure that this is the way we want the form to look. Okay, 
give me a second here to fill it in. Okay, so I filled it all in and now I click on submit. Since I went through the questions, I decided that I am happy with this form and do not plan to amend it any further. Thus, it is safe to proceed with the next step, which is the mapping in NowCerts. You see, the mapping is a one-time action, but that is unless you make any changes to the form's fields. If you edit the fields in your form, then you will need to go and remap them. Anyway, let us go to NowCerts and see what happened. We go to the dashboard. And we scroll down and click on quote applications. And there we see my form submission, Annie Walker. We click on the green pencil icon so that we can map the fields. You will notice that there are a lot more fields than you had in your form. This is because Automate 365 sent, sends all of the fields that it has in your account over to NowCerts. You can just disregard the irrelevant fields and scroll down until you find one of the fields that you included in your form. They will be below the fields for the policy number 25. This is number 21, 22. We scroll down a little further. Here's 25. And then we see, is there a coin short? No, but this is not a mappable field. If there was a coin short, coin short first name, that would be a mappable field. Okay, we see here driver first name, it was mapped. Driver last name was not mapped. So we click on the map button. We select whether we want to map this field for an insured, prospect, policy, etc. I select prospect. Then, since it is driver last name, we don't immediately select last name, but first we select drivers. Then here in the index, we need to write the number, which driver it is. In this case, it is number one. Then we select last name and we click on save. There, it is mapped now. In the same fashion, we go down through our form and we map all the other fields. I will not map them all right now, but if you want to see the information in NowCerts, you should map it because you will only see what you have mapped. Mapping is essentially teaching the system where to put the information. Okay, after you're done with it, you can scroll all the way down and find the button Save and Merge. Please click on it. As you can see, after we were done with the mapping, the prospect was created in NowCerts and the information populated in the fields we mapped was displayed for this prospect. Anyway, just to say a few concluding remarks, by using the intake forms from Automate 365, you're only entering the data once and it is already in both systems. Upon form submission, 
the same prospect gets created both in Automate and NowSearch, and the link between the two is established. All of the data from the form is accessible in Automate 365 and in NowSearch after the agency ID is placed in the form and the mapping is completed. Additionally, Automate 365 can automatically create an opportunity so you can see the prospect in your pipeline. It can also contact your prospect on your behalf and let them know that you're working on their quote request, for example. What happens automatically after the submission of the form depends on the workflow you built in advance. Saved and published, not to forget. Furthermore, when you eventually sell and issue a policy here in NowSearch, the prospect will convert to an insured in both systems since the records for this prospect are linked. There is absolutely no need to do double entries. In general, if you use our NowSearch AMS and Automate 365 CRM system, then it will be a lot easier and require much less work to use the forms in Automate 365 because they have been designed for this purpose. On the other hand, if you decide to use different intake forms, there may be some issues. For one, they may contain information that is not mappable in NowSearch. And secondly, there is limited information that we pass from NowSearch to Automate 365, so there may be some data that cannot be transferred over. Still, if you are set on using other forms, you can do so, but please keep in mind that the workflow and other steps shown in this video will not be applicable. For any questions or comments, please send an email to info at automate365.net. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.